Right, let me show you how to rig a Bobby Garland weedless. So you're going to start with the jig hook. First thing we're going to do is we're going to open these jig hooks up just a little bit. And I usually just take my fingernail and just raise it up just a little bit. Because you want a little bit wider gap. So then what we're going to do is we're going to take this Bobby Garland. We're going to start at start the very top up there. And we're going to come down about a quarter inch out the bottom. And then we're going to rotate this jig head around this way. Push it all the way through. Just like that. And we're going to take the hook and we're going to come out the belly. And we want to make sure it's center of the belly and center of the back. And what I want to do is just break the skin. I don't want to push it all the way through. I just want to break it where I can barely feel that hook point. And then what you got is you've got a totally weedless uh, Bobby Garland bait that you can fish through structures and tops and all that stuff. Now sometimes you'll still hang and you're hanging because the head is getting into the bark or the tree top is facing the wrong way and you're coming against the branches towards the trunk instead of from the trunk towards the end. So this way you'll catch a lot more crappie fishing through those tops because you don't stay hung up all the time. Hope this helps.